that's enough of that. Um, so my idea of, of wearing a Santa hat at Christmas so that I wouldn't have a video blog that sat there for months, I'd have to change it because it looks so outdated, that didn't work at all. <clears throat> in my excuse, and why it's now three months later, is partly that I had uh, what we in England call the dreaded lurgy, which knocked me out for a few weeks, and basically I was in no mood to do anything or talk to anybody, as my wife, who is holding the camera right now, will attest. Um, in my spare time, and as part of my healing process, I got a set of these drums, which were actually for my son, and in my blog, which will accompany this in a little while, depends on whether I have the energy, I'll put a little clip of him playing the drums. He's 16, and he's really good, so we got this kit for him to practice on, and for me to learn the drums. And as you can see, um, I'm at the very basic level of just doing one thing, trying to, you know, they say the right hand doesn't know what the left hand's doing. It really is true in this case. This left hand flails about, and I'm trying to, to train it. So that's what I'm doing right now here in my spare time. And um, over my shoulder here, there's a bass guitar, and I'm, I'm teaching myself bass. Um, and at the moment, all I'm doing are scales, up and down, just trying to exercise my left hand. And this is all part of the whole plan of teaching an old dog new tricks, because I hate to get boring. Um, so enough about what I do in my spare time. Let's go to what my day job is, the audiobooks, and uh, I'll tell you what I'm doing right now. So um, I'll just switch this off and meet me up in the, in the studio. Hi, this is my studio room. This here is the studio, and <laughs> this is a wall and this is a lamp. Moving a little closer, it's a little boring if you zoom in on me and there's nothing behind me. So I'm going to kneel down and, and show you what's here. I've just finished recording Jennings, uh, Jennings' Diary, which is uh, the first of a couple of books that we're recording. Um, uh, of the series Jennings by Anthony Buckridge. It's an, about an English public schoolboy, and these books were, were written originally in the 50s, and they're very short, about four and a half, five hours each, but I just finished that one using my iPad, but there are still um, clients who send me copies of their books on, on paper, like this, and this is one of them, or in fact three of them. It's for Random House, and it's the first three books in the Vampire Chronicles series. Interview with a Vampire, about 15 hours there, and uh, the Vampire Stat, about 22 hours there. And then next week, I've just finished that one, next week I'll be doing, or beginning this one, The Queen of the Damned, Book 3 of the Vampire Chronicles. Or as I saw someone had auto-corrected it the other day to Queen of the Darned, which is how it's going to be released in the Bible Belt, I should think. Um, so that's what I've done. What I've got coming up... Oh, something I should tell you about. A couple of weeks ago I finished the fifth of the Van Vetteren murder mystery series. This is a series by um, a Swedish author, Håkan Nesser, and um, it's set in a country that could be Belgium. Not set in Sweden, but set in Belgium. And therefore Highbridge Audio, and they're waiting until all five are complete and mastered and everything before they're releasing them, but they should be coming out in the next couple of months, so keep an eye out for those. The other thing I'm excited about is that um, <clears throat> the company that used to be BBC Audiobooks America, um, now called Audio Go, they're based in Rhode Island, and they've just built some new studios, and uh, they've invited me out to, to uh, not inaugurate them, I rather doubt they're doing that, but uh, to, to be one of their participants in the new studios, and we're recording uh, two books by uh, the British author Chris Ewan, who writes the series uh, The Good Thief's Guide 2. I'm doing The Good Thief's Guide to Venice and The Good Thief's Guide to Amsterdam. And despite the fact that they sound like um, travelogues, they're not. They are murder mysteries, uh, a story of theft and intrigue. So, um, And they, they're very well received. They came out a couple of years ago, but they've been very well received in written form, and hopefully um, you know, they'll work on audio as well. Um, that's everything in here. That's enough work. Um, I'm just going to check and see what the weather's like outside, because it's been raining endlessly. And I know California is suffering from a drought, but we've got enough rain now, I think. I think the drought is over. Um, I think it's cleared up. Let's go out and uh, see what the rose bush is. Hi. <laughs> I was wrong about the rain. <laughs> Never mind, we're having a ride of a time out here because uh, the rain is coming down and we're doing all these artistic fades and stuff like that and it's, it's uh, a bit of an ordeal. <laughs> it's great fun. My wife, of course, being an American, unlike me who's English and loves the rain, not that keen and she's standing up there <laughs> being a very good sport about it all. So I'll try and do this as quickly as possible. This is my rose bush land thing uh, and I was going to tell you a little bit because I've done some work here. And uh, last year I bought three bare 
barefoot, bare root, <laughs> bare root, roses, bare root, roses. And um, I put the three in here and two of them did next to nothing and one of them died almost immediately and the other one took most of, of the summer to die. Um, and we did all the right stuff, we put uh, steer manure in and we put in uh, compost and we mixed it all up but, but something I did wrong it was too intense and I may have shocked them to death. This one survived, this is, um, this is a beautiful deep red rose and it did supply a couple of beautiful roses last year. Um, this one on the end here behind me, and I'm, I'm balancing here because it's muddy there, and it's muddy there so I want to be careful. Um, this one uh, I, I bought, uh, I replaced at the end of last year, as, as I did this one, which is a sort of on a, a, a taller one, and they're beautiful scented roses. So they've survived the winter, as has this one. The one that was here didn't, so I replaced that, and I also bought that so that the place is balanced, you know, because that's important feng shui or something, I don't know. Um, and this one is uh, appropriate enough, given how we began this vlog, is called Rock and Roll. Um, and it's got a beautiful uh, pinky white rose. Um, hopefully, I'll have enough samples to be able to show you photographs of them later on. So check back here uh, another time. Anyway, that's it. Um, my wife is shivering, and uh, I will uh, stop this now. I will uh, stagger back, and uh, hope you've enjoyed this quick look around in different areas, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Okay, bye.